effective mental health training should support action and positive change in the workplace. This requires improving employees' knowledge, ability and confidence to promote a mentally healthy workplace and challenge stigma and discrimination. Training should not be thought of as a magic wand. When planning how to make change, don't automatically start with training. First, carefully assess what knowledge and skill gaps should be targeted. What are the most effective ways to address those? Then put a strategy in place to introduce, get buy-in and roll out training, learning and development. Key policies, procedures and guidance for employees and line managers should be reviewed to ensure they are inclusive of mental health prior to investing in organisational training. Effective mental health training approaches include communicating why it's important that employees attend training, what will they learn and how it will help them, encouraging employees to attend sessions and allowing them protected time during their working day to do so, ensuring development opportunities are available and accessible to all employees, tailored to their role, shift patterns and learning styles or disabilities. Evaluating the impact of any training, learning and development and reviewing as appropriate. Training, learning and development should use peer approaches and include voices of people with experience of mental health problems with a focus on building an understanding that people can and do recover from mental health problems. Investing in train the trainer approaches to embed effective capacity building approaches and create sustainability.